Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger, my friends. We got a little bit of surprise on the Street Fighter front. Yes, the year two DLC characters have been announced. That's great, but they might not exactly be who you expected them to be. You may notice that on screen is one Terry Bogard, not normally of Street Fighter fame. Let's put it that way, right? And also, hey, my Shiranui, also not normally of Street Fighter fame. Yes, Street Fighter finally has proper guest characters. And of course, we have other in-universe characters for year two. We have Elena with a lovely new redesign and well, someone else coming up. Spoiler, it's M. Bison. So these are our year two characters. And uh, I would say definitely some bangers. M. Bison, we have speculated on the channel before. Looks like we were correct on that the world tour mode held some significance about Bison. And here we can see some rough release dates for the characters. So Bison, summer 2024. Terry, sometime in the fall 2024. Elena will be early spring next year. And Mai will be winter of next year. Hopefully that means winter like January, February, not the end, because she is appearing after Elena when Elena says spring. But hopefully that works out. So Bison's up first, summer 2024. Hmm, Summer Game Fest is happening right now. Turns out we're lucky that we got a man on the scene. We got an inside man here, right? So if there's anything at Summer Game Fest for M. Bison, well, I'll try my best to figure it out. But there's no gameplay, not yet anyways, so all we can do is speculate. So hey, let's, uh, let's speculate for a second, why not? As far as Terry and Mai go, they're transplants from another game. However, among the characters you can pick from Fatal Fury and KOF, they're about the safest choices, as they would translate fairly well. The argument for Terry is Terry a Shoto, right? Well, this is a pretty good time to figure that out. He does have a classic fireball, the power wave. However, it is a lower angle travels on the ground projectile. Will they allow that to go full screen like it usually does? Someone like Blanca, he can slide a Hadoken, right? He can't slide, say, Jury's Fireball, because Jury's is very low to the ground. Power Wave would be much the same. And it's a good thing, like, someone like Yori's on the game, right? Because Yori's uh, Fireball would be a bit too much for Street Fighter. Also, he'll have probably Rising Tackle. It'll be a question whether it's a charge move or a motion. We'll see, I guess, how they want to balance that. That'd be your stock reversal. What about Power Dunk? Power Dunk, well... That's kind of the neutral skip option now, isn't it, right? He'll go over most of the screen, land on your head. Lots of ways you can go about that. Basically, Terry, like, he fits easily, but a lot of the small particulars might have to change. Mai, much the same, right? Mai is generally decent fireball, good normals, and a lot of wall jump options, which is fine, but a normal like her CD, right? A normal like her CD can't exist in Street Fighter. Uh, it'd be way too wild for a game like Street Fighter 6, so it'd have to be toned down just a little bit. Another thing like her dive, the Musabi no Mai, which is most analogous to Condor Dive in Street Fighter, right? It's definitely a lot better than Condor Dive, so it's another one that'd probably be toned down just a little bit. But basically, we can't know. We have to wait and see. They're not coming immediately. Someone like Elena, though. Elena has left a mark on Street Fighter before. If you want to get dramatic about it, she's the character that killed Street Fighter 4, right? Obviously, in reality, the launch of Street Fighter 5 is what killed Street Fighter 4. But at the end of Street Fighter 4's lifespan, she did not engender many positive feelings because her healing mechanic kind of warped what the game was. Street Fighter 4 not as explosive as a game as Street Fighter 6. So you could back off, get your healing, and kind of just scam people out, right? She had more effective health than the rest of the cast, and uh, most characters couldn't do anything about it, and that caused problems. I would think, I would hope, going into Street Fighter VI, they have that figured out, but you know, bad feelings are there just kind of out of the gate. And then Bison, here's the question. As a playable character gameplay-wise, I love M. Bison. He's one of my co-mains in Street Fighter IV, and he is my main in Street Fighter II and Super Turbo, right? So I like Bison, but I like that form of Bison, specifically Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4, fast Bison with gigantic normals. Not so much the 
incredibly slow version of Bison in Street Fighter V. Now, as of the time of me editing this video live right now, this just dropped. So we don't have to wait long to find out what Bison's gonna be because his first gameplay will be tomorrow, right? I hope for my own sake, the Bison I like to play over the years is the one we're gonna get, the faster, big, pokey Bison. Now, I think it'll be more like the Street Fighter V version, but I guess we don't know, right? Street Fighter VI, new game, lots of characters have changed up in pretty fundamental ways, and Bison, well, Bison's Bison, he's one of the big boys of fighting games. They'll make him cool at very least, even if he's not the fast version I prefer. I know visually, at least he'll look okay. Just please let Psycho Crusher be a regular move again, please. That said though, I think uh, at bare minimum, even if you don't like it, <laughs> uh, certainly a surprising roster for year two, right? Surprising for sure. And uh, I think most people are gonna be fans. The only thing I'll knock immediately out of the gate is not even the characters, like, I admit, I'm not gonna love seeing Al in the back. Hopefully they make her more fun to fight against, right? But uh, it's just the number of characters. I was really hoping for at least five this time around. So seeing four is a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But still, obviously Street Fighter's first ever real guest characters, not just in universe, like Akira from Rival Schools or the myriad of characters from Final Fight, but like properly from other games. And this bodes well for other things, you know, uh, Capcom, Street Fighter VI, Terry and Mai, SNK, what if we could somehow have Capcom versus SNK? Is the forbidden door now open again? Can we take another swing at what is one of the greatest crossovers in all of gaming history? Street Fighter VI, doing pretty all right. Definitely a big improvement over Street Fighter V. So Capcom stock in Street Fighter is as high as it's been in a very long time. And SNK as a company is doing the best they've been since the 90s. So I'm not saying this is definitely happening or anything, but uh, this is a pretty good indicator that something could happen down the road. And just all the particulars about it are in a pretty good place to make something happen if it were to happen. But even if it were, I'm sure that'd be some years down the road just yet. So all in all, I I'm just happy, right? Uh, Bison, looking forward to seeing how he works. And I guess we won't have to wait too long. Elena, I just hope, <laughs> I just hope she's fun to fight against this time around. That's all I want. Just be fun to fight against, please, right? Terry and Mai, very interested in seeing how they go. Big SNK fan myself, right? I like both of those characters, especially Mai. I actually play Mai in quite a few of the King of Fighters games. So extra interested in seeing where she goes, especially how her wall dive nonsense will work in a Street Fighter VI context. But I guess we gotta wait and find out in the end, right? But I will do my best as we get more news on everything to cover everything as it happens. Interested in all the new characters? I'm sure you're interested in them too. And on that note, hey, post in the comments below. What do you think, right? Because I know at bare minimum, you have to have some opinions on Terry and Mai. That's kind of a big deal. So post below. And that said, that is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Street Fighter.